immigrants, indigenous people, disabled people, single people, students and more. Yay. We are also individuals who <laughs> lost our jobs during the pandemic and who were unemployed prior to the pandemic and who have faced the ever increasing financial and physical and mental burden of barely being able to afford to live. We are human beings with an inherent worth and right to safety, security and protection, including our right to be housed in safe and affordable homes. We are here today in a global pandemic as we cannot sit, stay silent any longer while the government continues to ignore the crisis we are facing. This issue has been apparent since prior to the pandemic. As many individuals have been facing rent increases and evictions for years now. Hello everyone, my name is Katie Dever and I'm 23 years old and I moved into my home with my mom and my sister when I was eight. I say it is my home, although it is an apartment because this is all I've known, lived and called home for 15 years. After 15 years of living in our home, in October of 2020, the owners sold our building to Historica. This is when, er, and then by February 18th, 2021, our building had been sold once again to another property company without telling anyone that lived in the building. The day after our building was sold to Property Wise, we received a notice stating that everyone in the building is being evicted and we needed to be out by the end of May. In the letter, it also said that if we were out by March 31st, the company would pay us a $1,200, would pay us $1,200 and you did not have to pay March's rent. The reason in the letter for the eviction was that the major, the major renovations were going to take place and making the entire building uninhabitable. And this is what a rent eviction looks like. Since receiving the letter, people have been scrambling in my building to find a place to live before the end of March, as most of us will need the $1,200 to move into a new place, especially when we factor in the cost of moving, damage deposit, and first month's rent. A lot of us are scared. Some do not know, Some do not w know where they're going to go as the current rental market does not offer pricing that is affordable for lower to moderate income people and does not have the appropriate number of bedrooms.